Hi, my name is Sajan and today I'm going to be teaching you about constructors in Java. Well, I'm glad you asked. So basically, constructors are used in object classes to essentially create the object. They do this by using fields, which are basically the attributes of the object, which are given values by the user. So in this video, I'm going to be creating an object class called building, which is going to be creating objects using constructors. So before you create your object class, you must have fields. So for this class, our fields are going to include int num of windows, int num of doors, double height in meters, double width in meters, and string color. So what are default constructors? Default constructors are constructors that create an object without assigning any values for the fields. So basically, if it's an int field, it'll assign the value of zero. So the implicit building is gonna be represented by this. So this dot num of windows is gonna get the value of zero. This dot num of doors is also gonna get the value of zero. This dot height in meters is gonna get the value of zero, but it'll print out 0.0 because .0 it's a double. This dot width in meters is also given the value of 0, but it'll print out 0.0 because .0 it's a double as well. And this dot color is going to get the value of no color in a string. So now I'm going to show you how to use this constructor to create objects. I'm going to open up the interaction panel, and the first thing you want to type is building, which is a class name in this case. The next thing is going to be the variable name. So for me, I'm going to write apartment which is going to be my variable name. Then you put equals new, which is the keyword when creating an object. And then building again, which is a class name. And then bracket bracket, because there are no parameters inside the brackets in the method header. So now you can see that apartment, which is a variable name, dot number windows is given the value of zero. Apartment dot num of doors is also given the value of zero. Apartment dot height in meters is given the value of 0, 0.0 because it was a double. As I said before, apartment.width in meters is also given the value of 0.0, .0 because it's a double, and apartment.color is given no color in a string. Now I can change the values of these fields. So if I go apartment.num of windows equals 5, apartment.num of windows is now given the value of 5. Likewise, if I go apartment.color equals brown in quotations, apartment.color is now given the value of brown as a string. Now I'm going to be teaching about regular constructors, which are also constructors, but they are more efficient as you are able to create an object and assign values to its fields all in one line. The method header for this constructor is going to be almost the same as the default constructor, but instead in the brackets, you're going to put parameters which are going to be given values by the user and they are then going to be assigned to the fields of the object. So the parameters I'm going to be using in this method header are int window, which is going to represent the value assigned to this dot num of window, int door, which is going to represent the value assigned to this dot num of doors double h which is going to represent the value assigned to this dot height in meters double w which is going to represent the value assigned to this dot width in meters and string colors which is going to represent the value assigned to the dot color so that's exactly what we're going to do this dot num of windows is going to get the value of window this dot num of doors is going to get the value of door this dot height in meters is going to get the value of h this dot width in meters is going to get the value of w and this dot color is going to get the value of colors When creating an object using this constructor, it's basically the same as using the default constructor, but instead you're going to put parameters inside the bracket, which are going to be used to assign values to the field. So for the first one, it's an int, so I'm going to use 7. Second one is also an int, so I'm going to use 3. Third one is a double, so you can use an int, but I'm going to use a double and put 120.34. The fourth one, I'm going to use 45.21 because it's a double. And the fifth one is a string, so I'm going to put brown in quotation. So this works, and now apartment.num of windows is given the value of 7, as you can see, and apartment.color is given the value of brown inside quotation. Prior constructors are basically constructors that you're able to use within the class that it's used in, but outside of that class, you aren't able to use it. So I'm going to show you the difference between a public constructor and a private constructor. For this, I'm going to create a new class method called
called public versus private that takes in a double value and creates a new building using the constructor and assigns random values to its fields. This method will return a building called apartment. Right now the default constructor is public. So we're going to call the public versus private method and put 12.5 as a parameter. This works and it prints out 10 for the windows, 2 for the doors, 200 for the height, 50 for the width and brown for the color. Now if we just create a building in the interaction panel it'll let us do that and each value has value of 0 and color has a value of no color. Now we'll do the same thing but we're going to change the default constructor from public to private. So now when we call the public versus private method and put a random double value as a parameter it still prints out 10 for the windows, 2 for the doors, 200 for the height, 50 for the width and brown for the color. But now when I reset the interaction panel and try to create a new building using the default constructor gives me a static error saying that there isn't a building constructor that doesn't take any parameters. It even suggests using the regular constructor that I made earlier. So that's the end of this video and I hope you learned something from watching this. Bye.